Hey y'all, it's Lindsay with the Fiber Seed and it is Whip Wednesday where I share what I've been working on. Which are a couple things. I haven't been on here because we've been doing a lot of dyeing yarn in between shows every weekend for the past couple weekends. So, what am I doing? Working on some things. I'll give you a sneak really fast. This is going to be June's color right of the month. Which comes out next Friday in June. So there's the knit one. Crochet swatches in another bag. So you got to sneak because you can get to see both. And they're not blocked. Anyway, what else have I been working on? Well, in between and in the driving, I've been working on Penelope's sweater. It's a good old raglan by uh, Twisted Knitwear. And I'm using a colorway that Penelope dyed for herself a couple of years ago. And I, I had three hanks of it and I wanted to make her a sweater. So I'm doing a raglan. Um, it's top down. And I think I might be like a round away from splitting for the sleeves. So there we go. Anyway, so I'm alternating balls because the, the speckledge was not even because it was like she's doing it when she's four. So I figured if I did this, it would kind of even out and it somewhat is. So that's fun. Anyway, that's what I've been working on. She did on Sprout DK and it's been kind of a joy because I look down and I'm always seeing something different. Uh, so that's what I've been working on when I haven't been dyeing yarn, but I need to share my fiber finds with you because I haven't gotten to do that for the past couple weeks. So what did I find at Kentucky Sheep and Fiber Festival? Well, I have a thing about buttons. So Dusty's Vintage Buttons was across the way and I saw these and they go with practically anything because it's all the colors. So anyway, these are really cool. They're um, probably gonna get this wrong, but they are from like the 1940s or so. So I thought that was really neat. Um, but they were hand dyed. So I thought that was cool. And then we got some rustic oak soaps, beeswax candles. They smell amazing and they're beeswax. So that makes them all pretty cool. So I got those and I got Kentucky Sheep and Fiber Festival shirt. So those were my finds from Kentucky. Now that was, you know, not this past week, those even before that. So this weekend I was up in Worcester at the Great Lakes Fiber Show and I had just a little bit of time to get on my booth and get some things. So I went over to Allegheny Fiber Arts booth and I got this peacock project bag. Got a zipper on the front and the outside it's lined and here's the inside this is a fun little mid-sized bag with a divider so got that because i had been eyeing that at kentucky and i'm like if she still has it i'm gonna get it so i did so that's what i got got that and then i saw i know i've see her at this one so i want to get something from Woo! Flora's Fiber Farrago. And this year I got a hand woven bracelet. So that's yarn. And it matches my earrings that I got last year. And then I got some Penelope, and she doesn't know this yet. Got her some hair clips. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, I got those two things. And then one more thing. Where did it go? I chatted with, with a lovely lady at uh, CMS Supply Co. And this is wool wash and you just shake it up and it smells amazing and so i'm gonna give that a try it smells like sugar cookies and it's wool wash so we'll see how that goes um but that is what i found at the two shows i have hoosier hills this friday and saturday we're gonna have all the yarns there sock dk worsted manny's all the things so if you're gonna be in the um Indianapolis area. It's in Franklin, I believe. And we'll be there. So come look for us and all the yarns because we have them because I've been dying them. Anyway, until next time though, happy crafting.